Guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're talking about the Houston Rockets signing Rashawn Holmes in free agency. He's looking for a contract in the neighborhood of four years and 80 million. I expected him to get upwards of 20 million annually, so to see it be around 80 million, it could be a little bit under, it could be a little bit more, but for the Rockets, I know Stone is planning on getting aggressive during free agency and, of course, the draft. He wants to bring in the best players possible. The Rockets need a center. Rashawn Holmes, the issue with this is that he doesn't trust the floor. I mean, he only shot, what was it, 18.2% from three-point range during the 2020-21 season, so he doesn't bring that aspect to the game. But what he does do is play very high-level defense. I mean, 1.6 shots, shots blocked per game. He's averaged 12.3 points and 8.1 rebounds in each of the past two seasons, so clearly he can play at a high level. He got injured this season, which really derailed the Kings season. I mean, they had a chance up until the end to make the play-in tournament. They fell short, of course, to the Spurs, but Holmes, I think, would be really good for this Rockets team just because they need a rim protector. They need a, a good defender. He also can switch. He's very versatile, so he doesn't just defend the paint. He can defend the perimeter, can switch uh, to multiple positions in the pick and roll, so... He's honestly the perfect center for the Houston Rockets, and that's going to be the title for this video. And, I mean, you guys definitely have to go take a look at his highlights, because he's, he's a very good player. He, I don't have it in front of me, but his floater is one of the highest percentage shots in the entire league. It's something like 80%. It's really remarkable how he could just pick a role, man. Like, him and John Wall, him and Cade running the pick and roll would be deadly. Don't forget about him and Wood, so you have multiple options to run the pick and roll, which is what the Rockets do a lot of, so... And remember, guys, I mean, you're not giving up anything for him. You're getting Rashawn Holmes essentially for free. I mean, you're paying him money, but that doesn't affect your draft assets or anything like that. So, I mean, the Rockets starting lineup next season, we don't know exactly what pick they have. But, I mean, at worst, I mean, I mean at worst, they'd get the 18th pick or, 19th, or 19th pick from Miami. But, like, let's say they get, like, the fourth pick. So, it would be Jalen Suggs. John Wall would be bought out, I'd imagine. So, it would be, like, Jalen Suggs. Kevin Porter Jr., Jay Sean Tate, Christian Wood, Rashawn Holmes, with a bench obviously consisting of Eric Gordon and some other of those first-round picks. I mean, Daniel House should be back, so KJ Martin. I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see what the Rockets do this offseason. Now, we still have a, a couple of months away for free agency, but I just thought I'd share this video to, for you guys just to let you know about Rashawn Holmes and his fit with the Rockets. I mean, $20 million annually for a player of Rashawn Holmes' caliber that can completely change a defense. He's 27 years old, so he's in his prime, man. The Rockets don't have a lot of guys that are 27 years old that are directly in their prime that can help you win now. So we know this Rockets team wants to be competitive as possible. They want to win games. Now, this doesn't make them a championship contender, but it definitely makes them a playoff contender, a team that is tough to beat every single night, especially on their own home court. So it'll be really cool, man. Rashawn Holmes and Christian Wood, both about the same size, both 6'10", man. Not 7-footers or anything like that, but... I think Rashawn Holmes is just a good modern-day center because he's very quick on his feet, can jump, block shots. He'll give you 1.6 blocks, man. He can score the ball, too. He's got that really good floater. He's good in pick and roll. So him, Suggs, KPJ, all those guys that love to run pick and roll. John Wall, if he's even back. I mean, I don't think John Wall, I don't think this would be possible to bring in Rashawn Holmes. I mean, unless they trade Eric Gordon or even if they were to buy out John Wall. Like, well, if they buy out John Wall, he wouldn't be on the team, but... I'm not sure exactly how much salary they'd have, but I mean, they, they probably are going to have to trade Eric Gordon. I mean, maybe they get creative and pair a first-round pick with John Wall to try to get him out of here because, I mean, Eric Gordon's a guy that I actually would like to see come back because he'll come off the bench. He could be that six-man-of-the-year type of player. I mean, every team that's good has a six-man. I mean, you look at a team like the Jazz, they have two of them and Joe Ingles and Jordan Clarkson. I mean, both of those guys are two of the three finals, uh, of course, for the six-man-of-the-year award, so... Eric Gordon will be very good for the Rockets coming off of their bench as long as he can stay healthy, but before getting injured this season, he was actually having a career year. He was went from having his worst season to really his best season. I mean, I give or take, Garrett, uh, Gordon, of course, had surgery and struggled, and it's tough to come back from that, but I mean, overall, the Rockets, they're looking pretty solid, dude. They've got a good young core. They've got salary to spend. They have draft capital, so look for them to get aggressive and bring in more guys like Rashawn Holmes to try to help them win now. They're not going to overpay, so don't expect like John Collins or anything, but I think Rashawn Holmes would be the perfect center for them for a variety of reasons. So if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Swaggy signing out. Peace.